All right, boys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can play Pokemon TCG Pocket, or how I'm going to call it Pocket TCG, oops, on Bluestacks, which means on your PC, which is very nice, because playing this game on the PC is it's just nicer, especially if you have friends, you want a Discord screen share, you don't have to get your phone, like a separate phone account, then join and screen share, and we all know how annoying that is as well, but I mean, that's a pretty niche case, but just in general, playing these games on PC is nice, and it's it's nice that you can have something up on your screen to like compare it to you, it's, it's cool, okay? So, first of all, you'll need blue stacks. Okay, now, one thing, by the way, I know in the past a lot of Nintendo games haven't worked on blue stacks. This one does, right? Uh, they did figure out how to do it. Uh, usually with launch of a black screen, you couldn't do anything, but this one, this one doesn't work. I've tested it. So, boom, you need blue stacks. The link is going to be in the description. Uh, very simple. You click it, you download it, it says install, and you click the install button, okay? If you already have it, you should still get this version just because it'll update it to the version where it'll actually work. Okay, because if you have an older version, it might not work, might not run as well, whatever. You might get some other bugs, not that cool. Okay, so we want to we wanna avoid that. Now, when you have blue stacks, before we do anything... Actually, no, before we do anything, we do need to get the game. Okay, that, that's probably the number one priority. So you go on search, you go on games, and then you go on... Oh, you type in pocket... T my keyboard is broken, my, my P and K key especially are broken, okay? You have a pocket TCG... Or, okay, or you go on, um, you type in Pokemon TCG, whichever you want. I just type uh, Pocket TCG because it's easier. And you install the game. Now, when you've installed, <clears throat> what might happen actually is it come, might come up with this uh, game is not available on your device. In which case, you just go on phone and you change it to one of the later ones, right? You just change it to this one, boom, kachow, right? Change it saved. And now, and now, well, now, if it was to happen, well, it doesn't happen. You just click install the game, it downloads the game, it puts it right here. It puts it on your um, desktop as well. If you want to, you can just delete it as well, by the way. Yoink. Now you have the game, right? And it's uh, pretty straightforward. You don't need to do anything in the se settings, right? You can adjust your resolution. You can adjust your pixel density if you want it to look better, right? Uh, Graphics-wise, it should come with these settings. If it doesn't, then just change it to these if, if your stuff doesn't work. If you have it on DirectX, you might just see it completely black screen. But on OpenGL Auto software, it should work just fine. And in performance-wise, uh, my rule is just give it as much as you can, because it won't give the, it won't use that much, right? Like it's not like a Pocket TCG is not going to use 12 gigs of your RAM. But if you give it 12 gigs and in a case of like a spike or something, you just like you, it just won't crash like a match. Like let's say something happens on your PC, you have something else open and it like interferes. No, it just doesn't give as much. It won't use nearly that much. It's just for comfort, so nothing happens. I, I like to have it like that. And I like to have it on high performance as well. You can have a low memory if you have like a budget PC or something. A pretty bad one. But it, I mean, you shouldn't have issues with this. And if you do, then you can like uh, mess around with these. But th this game isn't really straining. Like, you should be completely fine, right? And that, those are the only things that really like, matter. Now when, now, when you open Pocket DCG, it's going to be like this. I believe... I believe what you can do is you can go and you can get an app like screen rotation and you can go on um, landscape. You can force landscape. And then when I click this now, I'm not sure how it works on Pocket DCG, if it works at all. Um, but we're, we're here to figure it out together. So far, so good. Oh, it does work. So we are in widescreen. Yes, my game is in Korean. That's my choice. That's not has nothing to do with blue stacks. I made it Korean because I like Korean. And I can read Korean and I, I like to challenge myself. Wow, you can actually do widescreen Pocket DCG. Wow, hold on, let me full screen as well. Um, right here. Wow, okay. Well, you might actually not see the game for a second. Hold on. Um, wait, there you go. Now, I also have two packs saved up, so we are going to be opening these. And I essentially have every deck built, uh, but, you know, we're chasing those, those beautiful cards. Uh, okay, so for pack openings, it's still like tablet is the best you'll get. That's fine. I mean, that's, that's, just, that's just something that they do. Okay, yep, 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 and oh, it's not new. I thought it was, it might have been, but it's not. Um, getting three stars in this game is uh, three silver stars is uh, much harder, apparently. But let's say maybe we can get lucky on this one. Well, I mean, we got, we got lucky on that one, actually. I'm completely happy. Let's, let's spoil ourselves. No, okay, sad. Oh well. Okay, well, that's 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 that, okay? But it worked fine. As you can see, I'm, I'm doing everything right. I could be playing right now as well. I don't think I want to, um, but everything works fine, right? I can go yoink, um, I can go my missions, I can claim all, I can, it's, you know, everything works just fine, okay? So yeah, um, that's Pocket DCG essentially on PC, uh, very quick, there's not much to it. Um, yeah, we get the sort of full screen experience, we get the tablet experience, which is nice, I mean, we don't, 
I don't have to full screen again. I'll do this for you now, but boom, I like this. That's cool. Um, yeah, let's check the water trade real quick. Maybe we can get something here. Wonder pick. Um, anything I care for? Not really. Nope. I have like 17 of that guy. Ow. I'll, I'll, I'll actually don't have the regular dragon knight. I might, I might get that. I might get that. I might try. I uh, watch this. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's get the expired one. Actually, it's not. That's literally a waste. Um, okay. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys attack. Okay. So, you see how it's there? It'll be there again. Okay. Well, every time, every time I, every time I get any like any, if there's any card I want, and I click something that's like, oh, like let me click like I was gonna say like top middle here. It might go there or whatever. It's always the same spot. And I know people cope and say that you can look at the cards how they travel. They all stack on one card. And then from one card to get this shot again, you can't actually check. It's uh, if you got it like that, it's literally just because of luck. Regardless, that that has nothing to do with the video. Uh, it works fine. If you have any questions, if something doesn't work, let me know. But the game works great, and I'm actually really happy it's on PC because I like playing the game. So I'll be playing it more now because it's on PC. But yeah, that's it from me. Good job.